In this video, we will see the 8086 program to interface with a stepper motor. We will not see the hardware interconnection or hardware details, but we will have a brief introduction on the stepper motor for better understanding. So, if you see the construction of a stepper motor, it will have four status. Okay, or four or min number of status. The status will have windings which will act as an electromagnet. Then it will have a rotor in the center which is a permanent magnet. Now, if we energize the coil A, what will happen is, it will act as an electromagnet which will make the rotor to attract or to get rippled, so to stay in this direction. So, depicting in a table, at time instant 1, the coil A is energized which is represented by 1, whereas the other coils are D energized denoted by 0. When coil B is energized, A is D energized, so it has moved to this direction. So, this is denoted as 0, 1, 0, 0 at time instant 2. So, the next instant, it has to move here when C is uh, energized. Similarly, when D is energized, this will happen. So, this is how the stepper motor works. So, next we will see. So, here in this uh, diagram, we have four uh, places where the rotor stays. Now, when we go for half stepping, instead of four position, we will have eight positions. So, we will see how. So, in the first instant, A is energized. So, it will be in this uh, position. Now, next instant, if you see here, coil A and B are energized, denoted by 1. So, the center rotor, which is a permanent magnet, is positioned halfway between A and B. So, this is what is called as a half stepping. Now, in the next instant, 3, only B is energized, so it has moved to this position. In the next instant, B and C will be energized, so it will move into this. Similarly, it goes on. So, if you see the half stepping sequence, first 1 is energized, next 2, then 1, then 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. The corresponding byte codes are represented here. So, 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8. So, it is represented as 0, 8 here. So, this byte code can vary depending upon the interface number C. Instead of A, B, C, D, it could be B, C, A, D, similarly. Now, instead of having 4 or 8 positions, the stepper motor will have multiple positions for a single rotation. So, this will be the similar kind of construction for a stepper motor. Now, we will see the 8086 program to control a stepper motor. So, for this stepper motor, we will need to have port address interface for uh, stepper motor. So, that is C0 and the data are 8421 to energize the coil for our assumption. It could be some other value depending upon the uh, interface arrangement for the stepper motor with the 8086. So, this address is stored in destination index register and the count is maintained as 4 because we have to send 4 values 8, 4, 2, 1. So, the first value 8 is sent to AL and through that it is written to C0. After writing this value, you have to give some time for this stepper motor to move its position. So, we have a delay subroutine which introduces a delay which we will see how in the later step. After the delay, we are incrementing the DA. So, DA becomes 1, 2, 0, 1 making it ready to send 0, 4 in the next step. Now, loop instruction what it does is it decrements CL by 1 and checks if it is 0. Since it is not 0 and CL is 3, it moves to the L1 which is move AL comma DA. So, now 4 will be moved to AL and through that it will be sent to 0. Similarly, 8, 4, 2, 1 all values will be sent and loop L1 after executing it will becomes uh, CL becomes 0 then it will go to jump start. So, again it will start from the first location where D is again initialized to 1200. So, 8421, 8421, similarly it will be rotated. So, a separate motor keeps on continuously rotating. Now, we will see the delay subroutine. So, delay subroutine is nothing but you are moving a higher count. This count could be a higher value like FF, FF, 0, FF, FF. And it is decremented by one value. As long as it is non-zero, it keeps on decrementing and then it is written back after it becomes 0. So, this is just to introduce a small delay. This delay essentially determines the speed of operation of the stepper motor. 
if the delay is increased the delay between each step will be increased thereby the stepper motor will rotate slowly if the delay is decreased then the stepper motor will run at a faster pace now next we will see the program to run the stepper motor in both the forward and reverse direction so first you have a port address as C0 so this, this part is nothing but whatever you have seen here four counts we will move the content to uh, AL and then we will be writing it to the C0 register and a short delay and after that you will increment the DA so similarly it goes on so if you have 8421 so that will be written again after completing one uh, sending all the four values it will return back so that is what is this part so this actus is subroutine now we have extra thing called as 16 hexadecimal 16 move to BL so this count is to make sure how many times we want the 8421 to be executed sent to the stepper motor so suppose one cycle is 8421 we will have 16 H cycles so now we will move D. So this 8421 is moved. Uh, that uh, starting at 1200 is moved to destination index register. We are calling this rotate. So we will have this uh, executed. So this will make sure that one complete rotate, uh, one complete cycle of 8421 is sent to the stepper motor. Next, BL value is decremented from 16. It will become 15. Then, if it is not zero, again we will call rotate. So next time it will do. So this will execute as long as BL is not 0. So it will execute 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, F, E. So similarly all the things will complete. After that we will introduce a delay. Uh, this is again a short delay after which uh, so delay is nothing but counting a bigger value to 0. After which again we are setting in the count to 16H. Now we want to move in the reverse direction. So we have this value as 1, 2, 4, 8. This value is stored starting from that as 1300. This 1300 is moved to destination index and the subroutine is called upon. So this will ensure that this subroutine rotate will ensure that 1, 2, 4, 8 are sent to the stepper motor ports. After completion, again BL will be decremented. So this will execute for 16H times. After this, a short delay is introduced. So, uh, uh, you have the stepper motor running in forward direction, a short delay. Then reverse direction, a short delay. Again, jump start. So, again, it has to start from the first. So, this is the program to run in forward and backward direction. Suppose, if you want to run the stepper motor to a particular angle, we need to find out this count for BL, which will uh, move the stepper motor to record number of angles so if basically if you change the value the count of BL you will be able to control the angle through which it is uh, moved so this completes the uh, program thank you